So let us see the health and its failure. When does health fails? What is the significance of the health, the importance of the health? And what does the term health means? I already told you that health is a proper well-being of an organism, of a human. That means the definition of health, if you see the definition of health, the physical, mental and social well-being of an organism, of an individual is called health. So the definition given by World Health Organization, it tells three important things that if you claim someone is healthy, he should be physically, mentally, as well as socially healthy. What is physical health? Your body must be in good condition. Your hands and legs are working properly and your systems are working properly. You, will, you should be able to digest the food which you have eaten properly, you should be breathe properly and you should be walking, running, doing all your physical activities properly. And you should be using your physical strength to its fullest potential. You can, you should be able to utilize it. So then you are called physically fit. You are asked to run. You are as a children, you can run. Right? And even then, if your teacher asked you to go for a race, some 50 meter race, 30 meter race, somebody says, no, 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 I cannot participate, I cannot run, my legs pain. Some of the students may claim that, no, I cannot participate in the race, I cannot run. Some will be too fat, they are obese, they say I cannot run. Means, there is a problem physically. So they are not healthy. Healthy in the sense, in that age group, if everybody is able to run, you also should be able to run. If you are not able to run, if you feel that your strength is not sufficient, you feel so weak, you are not healthy. You should get it checked for doctor, take proper nutritious food, healthy food, green vegetables and such kind of uh, foods to retain, to get good stamina and strength of your age group. So that is physical health. But physical health is not only health, they should be mentally also healthy. There is a boy who is very healthy, strong, stout, he can run, he can jump, he can fight, but always fighting and hitting everybody. He is not considering the emotions and feelings of others. So that is also not a healthy state. You should be mentally healthy. If somebody is behaving such in a rude way, hitting everybody, damaging the property of others, and such a rude and rough behavior disturbing everybody, causing disturbance and nuisance and he is not bothered how the others are feeling. He is not giving any respect to the people. He is behaving in a such a way and his behavior is out of control. It is a behavioral problem. It is a mental problem, mind problem. So it should be set either by counseling, talking to him, telling what is good, what is not bad. Of course, he may be given some medications. But it is not considered as a healthy state. If anybody is having such a behavior which is not socially accepted, acceptable behavior, that is also not considered health. So you should be having good physical health, physical body fitness, mind should be steady and socially you should be good. You should have good interactions, you should have good social relations. You meet somebody with a pleasant smile, you have to wish and when you are in that state, okay, you are good. You are healthy physically, mentally, socially. But you say, I cannot attend any functions, I am very weak, I am not interested, I don't want to join with the people, I don't want to come into the society, I don't like, because you have some problem, social problems. So you need to be healthy in all the three aspects, physically, mentally, as well as socially, then it is considered as the health. So such kind of health is very, very important for all of us. When you are thinking about your health, you should think that you should maintain all these three. Physically, you should be healthy. Mentally, you should be healthy. And socially, you should be healthy. If you are not able to take part any of these things, if you feel that you are missing any of this thing, 
you can identify that you have some problem in your health you can get it rectified corrected right so let us go to the next one personal and community issues personal and community issues the relation between your or personal health community health what are the relations here see somebody thinks that yes i am taking bath twice a day i am brushing my teeth twice a day i use very clean water i drink very clean filtered boiled water i eat all healthy vegetables and fruits and i keep myself so clean so why i got this disease so a one cannot completely manage himself to be healthy it depends upon the external conditions also society also he is living in a very filthy place very dirty place society he lives in a colony in which the garbage is not cleaned so everybody throw the garbage on the road the drainages are not cleared they overflow in such a situation he is living of course he puts all the efforts to maintain his personal health and hygiene he may be affected by the disease because of his community so the community hygiene community cleanliness also affects a person's health individual health sometimes natural which is not under our control even not under the control of the community like a cyclone suddenly a cyclone hits so all the water in the drainages overflow every water source get polluted so if we drink such polluted water diseases are caused so in this case you cannot blame anybody but our health is dependent on two things one is our personal hygiene you must be good even your society is very good your community is very clean but you are not clean you are not hygiene you are eating all roadside foods you are not taking bath you are not brushing properly and you are not following any health habits you have a very bad lifestyle no proper timings to eat no proper uh, nutritious food you are eating all junk food you are exposed to various kinds of activities so definitely you fall ill even though your community is good so your personal hygiene is important community hygiene is also important so public cleanliness plays a very important role club public cleanliness so it is the responsibility of everybody you cannot blame only the government servants who clean the roads you have a responsibility you should not throw the dust on the road if you throw your garbage bag on to the road and if you blame those people are not clearing the roads there is no use so you must be a part of the public cleanliness and public cleanliness is very important the physical environment or the public cleanliness is dependent on the social environment of that community social environment decides the public environment physical environment social environment means it depends upon the society in which you lives how where do where do the people live the people live in villages the people live in towns right so it all depends upon the attitude of all the people in the village the social environment there is a village called a in this village the people in this village they don't know what is hygiene all these people they go for the toilet outside in the open they do not know the effects caused by doing that activity all these people they are habituated to a very bad lifestyle they consume alcohol everybody and it is not a problem for them it is not considered as a wrong practice so they all do that it is a custom so how the health of this community will be very bad how the environment physical environment because they don't know they are not aware of the uh, health issues they are throwing the garbage outside they are excreting in the open so definitely they all fall ill so the social environment it decides the physical environment you consider a village called a village b so in this village there are some organizations or groups there are certain people or the leaders they come and teach all these people what is health what is nutritious food why we should not go for toilet in the opens and why we need to have a closed toilets and why we should drink a clean water everything is explained so all these people in this society the physical environment will be very clean so we see such kind of villages such kind of towns here and there quite often we see that 
so the society how the society is there the attitude of the people in a society it will decide the physical environment if the physical environment is good then if you take your personal care the health is maintained in that community so your personal care is important personal cleanliness is important community cleanliness is also important if any of one of that is missing then you may fall ill so what are the other uh, factors here the good economic conditions that is also important a person wanted to be healthy physically he wanted to eat all the nutritious food he wanted to take bath and he wanted to have a good lifestyle but he needs some money proper job employment if employment is not there there is no proper job there is no money to make his living how can he stay healthy it is not possible so good economic conditions are required means everybody needs a job to do a good earning to make his living healthy at least healthy of course it is not luxurious of course it is not comfortable at least he should be healthy he should get some earning by which he can make his living healthy so the last one here social equality and harmony why this social aspects are related to science here social equality that means everybody should be treated properly otherwise it will affect the health of the persons which are mistreated their mental status may be disturbed they may behave in a very different way their mental health will be disturbed see that this is very important of course you don't know what kind of social conditions exist at school level but in your class itself you can notice one thing generally in many of the classrooms it happens that you people some of your friends or you may be involved in teasing some person you may be choosing a reason to tease the person you find a person who is very dark complexion you may tease him you find a person who is very lean you may tease him so this kind of mistreatment based on some kind of uh, taking certain points and miss treating the persons makes the persons feel so bad sometimes those persons their mental health will be disturbed because of such kind of teasing it will it builds up a kind of pressure on them so this mental pressure disturbs their mental health they may behave so rude and rough sometimes they turn so violent and they may attack the people those who are teasing him so this kind of incident takes place so it is a very bad thing to tease the people to mistreat the people everybody is equal everyone all the humans are equal of course we are different because every human is unique no person is alike the other person even you are a twin brothers or twin sisters there will be some differences so no man on this planet is similar every person is unique different it doesn't mean that they are low or high it doesn't decide the complexion does not decide the height does not decide the weight does not decide who is high and who is low everybody is same and equal so such kind of equality is maintained should be maintained in the society also see in your classroom if you do that you will go for a, you will get adapted to a good attitude treating everybody equal so if you grow up and come to the society you treat everyone with the same thing but generally in societies in certain places what happens certain people are mistreated it may it may disturb their physical health it may disturb their mental health mostly their mental health is disturbed certain people they turn into anti social elements so that is also done because of this factor so for a healthy living all these are very important issues that ought to be kept in mind and so by that we should be adopted to this to be healthy in all the aspects physically mentally socially and we can contribute for a healthy society if you like this video please give a thumbs up please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on cbse syllabus